All right, what's going on, low coders? This is going to be a very quick video explaining how you can create unlimited free PDFs in your Glide app or your Glide apps that you're building for clients. It's very flexible, very simple, and there's no subscriptions, no fees, no nothing. So I'm gonna explain exactly how to do it now. So we'll jump onto the screen here. And the first thing you wanna do is add a template column, right? So you can see here, this is the template. And in this template, you just want to add some HTML. Now, this HTML can be as simple as just a table, or it can be as complex as a fully formatted tailwind classed uh, invoice or whatever it is you want to create. Basically, this is where the design of the PDF is created. So you can create it as simple or as complex as you want. Here, I just have a very simple table that's using tailwind styling. If you don't know what tailwind is, don't worry about it. You can just use inline styles to, you know, for example, create the table width to 100%, change the font sizes, whatever it is you need to do. So here I have the uh, template itself, just a bunch of HTML. And then what you want to do is throughout the template, you want to create dynamic values. So you can reuse this template for all of the different pieces of data you have. In this case, I've just replaced the title of the table with four, uh, three A's. And then down here, I wanna say, replace anywhere you see three A's in a row with this particular column. And in this case, it's just the name, right? So for every row, this template is now gonna have a dynamic name and it's gonna be different uh, PDFs. Now it might sound confusing, but it's pretty straightforward. The next thing you wanna do is Obviously, if you're using dynamic values, you'll have existing data there. But then you want to create a construct URL column. And in the first field where the protocol is, you want to put HTTPS. In the second field where host is, you want to put this specific link. And this is um, just a very simple app that I've created that uses the URL to create the PDFs for you. So you paste that in the host. And I'll put this in the uh, school post for you. And then in the query parameters, you want to add PDF as the parameter name. And then you want to select the template as the custom value. And that's really it. We can change this right now. This says loco students. I can make this, you know, V1 doesn't really matter. But on the layout screen, the next thing you need to do, the last thing you need to do is add a button that opens that special constructed URL. So here you can see we have loco students. This is the button, right? So I've just got it in a title component. We have the action here. And you can see that the action is open link. And all we're doing is open that link that we created earlier in the table. That's it. When we click this, you can see here, it has the full PDF ready to save or print. We can forward this on, we can attach it back to our Glide app, you can do whatever with it. And you'll see that if I go back here and go to Boot Campers and I click Generate PDF, now it's got low code Boot Campers. So you can have as many different dynamic PDFs as you want. We can add another one here that just says, this right we go here and we can see now that we can create this PDF so this is really really handy for invoices for uh, any dynamic PDFs that you need to be sending to people you can do this for proposals for um, scope of works for contracts it's very very handy if you want to learn more, join the free low code school that I've created. The link will be somewhere around this video and I look forward to seeing you on the inside. Cheers.